Hello, this is Steve, Dichroic Glassman. Well, we've got three critters here that are now dichroic. They started out as clear bevel sets, clear like this bevel here, totally clear. And then with my lesson process, we've turned them, transformed them into dichroic glass beauties. And keep in mind, you're not seeing the color, this is a deep blue. You're not being able to see the grain in the glass because it's obviously on a black background. Can you imagine the beauty when you see these things changing colors like this and this? Let's look at the nature of what we're looking at here as far as mechanics go because I made a claim in the previous video that of these three critters, this by far is the best fitting and tight for copper foil. I only do copper foil. I use lead around my edges as you've seen in many of my videos but for the most part everything I do is copper foil. When I get this GST bevel cluster in its original state, what does that mean? I thought you make these. I take bevel clusters that come clear just like you see this stock bevel cluster. Open it up. I took the pattern out comes with a clear piece of glass, they're shrink wrapped in there, a clear piece of glass and through a process, uh, a cold process, I'm able to arrive at these beauties. Keep in mind folks, this is by my friend Robert Steffen. This is a cold process. Heat was never applied to this orb. By the way, this is one color. And you're going to ride. It's one color. It's cyan. It's been cut and faceted three times. In fact, here's one of them. You can see the line. Robert Steffen signs my piece. And this is one color cyan. Because it's refracting and transmitting at the exact same time, it's the only glass in the world that has this nature. On a mechanical level, my lesson plan is almost a lot like Robert's. Robert is gluing a piece, dichro, a piece of glass, dichro, a piece of glass. This is all crystal glass, by the way, folks. This isn't window glass. The big guys, Robert Steffen, Tolan Sand, Jack Storm, just uh, but a few of the few people in the United States with this capacity of cut and polishing. No heat involved. Unless you're casting glass, heat is not in the subject. But this features dichroic glass, the same type of glass I utilize in my process. In my process it only requires one level of dichroic glass to add to the back of a already made bubble cluster. It's just a unique program. It's the only one known to exist in the retail world. It's just a unique program offering a kit, lessons, some applications, supplies, you know, the regular stuff listed in my Etsy store. Stay tuned. We're going to go through some uh, pretty exciting transformation. I want to really dial in dichroic glass as though I haven't been playing around, but I'm really going to start going in some fun directions that you might want to stick around and take a look at. It's going to go into the infinity mirror effect. People that have been signing up for my lesson plan around the world to make to create dichroic bevels and jewels will be highly interested in this new process coming out. Isn't this beautiful? It even reflects rainbow in its base. I'm seeing it here. Well, there's a nice little spot of it. Depending on the right kind of light, this is stunning. The quality is something you're not going to naturally see on the street. It's breathtaking. This is just a small piece. I can't afford those big dogs. But it's fun stuff.